Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you saw last week's video, you saw my design plans for the upstairs of my home. And by the time this video goes live, I will be right in the middle of one of those makeovers. I showed you guys some ideas I had for each space, but what I didn't tell you was that two of the rooms are completely designed around today's sponsor, Ruggable. So I picked out three rugs from Ruggable and I knew that two of them I wanted to use upstairs. And I'll show you each of the rugs and why I chose them and how I'm planning to use them in my design. So if you're not familiar with Ruggable, you've probably heard of them, but if you haven't, they are rugs and they come in two separate pieces. And the main advantage of them is that they are washable. So I got this runner to use in my kitchen. That was super easy and it lays so flat already. And look how much personality it's giving the kitchen. It just adds a little bit of color. Which is probably my favorite part about these rugs because I like to keep my design extremely neutral for like the permanent things, like the color of your cabinets. But I could switch out this rug and keep the same rug pad and switch out the top layer for different seasons or whatever mood I'm in. So I wanted to test the rug to see how it does against my Dyson vacuum, which has really strong suction and it does really well. It holds great. But when it is time to actually wash it, if you drop something on it that can't be vacuumed up, you just pull it up off the bottom piece and throw it in the washing machine. Make sure that you wash it on the cold cycle. And then you can also dry these too, which I didn't realize, dry it on low heat. And then you can put the rug back down and it will be good as new. Okay, moving on from that rug, let's go to the next one. And this one is gonna go in my son's room. And when I say I designed his entire room around this rug, I am not kidding. It was the inspiration for everything that I wanna do in there. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love how oversized it is. Now it is gonna be tucked under the bed, but I still have to paint in this room, so I'm just laying it out. But every choice that I'm making is here in here is based on this rug. Like I'm looking at sample paint colors, trying to match it to the rug and the bedding. It's gonna be so good. And it's super soft. So if he's down here playing with his Hot Wheels, it's really soft, but it's not too soft and thick to where his toys will get stuck in it. But the best part is I can wash it because he is so messy. Okay, this is the third rug. I had to push the furniture aside because it's so big. But this is gonna be going to be going in my bedroom. I'm so excited about it. And this is kind of my board, my mood board come to life. The pillows and I'm looking at these moody greens and the curtains and just that's the bedding adding some texture and I really think this rug is just gonna pull it all together. Thank you so much to Ruggable for sponsoring today's video and they want you guys to be able to check out their products. So they've given me a discount code that you can get 10% off when you use my code, I'll link in the description box. Also, if you spend over $99,
you can get free shipping. So go check out their website, see if you can find something that you like, do like I did, plug it into a mood board and see if it can really tie your room together. It might be what your space is missing. That's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching guys. I will catch you next week. We are starting a makeover upstairs. It's gonna be so good, but thanks for watching guys. Bye.